good morning. And now it's time to explore the second quatrain from the set of praises or invocations known as the homages to the 21 Tades. So if you need some background, go check out the other videos I've already done on the subject. But let's dig in. So the quatrain reads, Homage to you whose face is like 100 autumn moons gathered and blazes with the dazzling light of a thousand constellations. Let's break that down to the first couplet, the first two lines. Homage to you whose face is like 100 autumn moons gathered. So let's look at the phrase, a hundred autumn moons gathered. I'm told that one of the toastier places on earth is a summer spent on the plains of India. I was told the reason for that is the sun is approximately 14 inches from India, and it gets mighty hot. So it should come as little surprise that during the dog days of summer, People look forward to the cooler days of autumn and the even cooler nights. But wait, there's more. See, the, the sun at its zenith at high noon is often uh, explored as a, a metaphor for the glaring, merciless view of reality that the wisdom teachings can offer us, whereas the cool full moon is often a metaphor for the relief that compassion and love can offer us. The metaphor carries itself into this couplet, a to you whose face is like 100 autumn moons gathered. In other words, this is it. This is voicing praise to she who compassionately offers an oasis from the oven-like sufferings of samsara. And what is samsara? Quick pop quiz. For my sharp students, you already know samsara is not just the presence of suffering, but the tyranny of suffering. Because let's face it, the greatest luminaries, Lao Tzu, Buddha, Christ, Gandhi, they all had the presence of suffering. But what made them great is they did not allow their sufferings to be their boss. Let's continue. Second couplet. And blazes with a dazzling light of a thousand constellations. This is a very poetic way of saying, Tara is radiant. And the inference is that by applying her teachings, by receiving her blessings, by accomplishing her path, we too become more radiant. That's what we want. We want to be so joyful, so loving, so serene, that we just low, spont in a spontaneous and completely uncontrived manner. We don't do this because we want to, you know, show off, because that's just lame. But we do this because that is a great test of our progress on the path. We all want to lead a meaningful life, and so many of us who act on that noble desire get waylaid on, on, in traps, in bear traps that, oddly enough, seem to line the spiritual path. One of those bear traps is the rigidity and aggression of fundamentalism. The path to peace is not paved with fear. The path to joy is not paved in aggression. If the fruit of your spiritual practice is crankiness and nervousness, then my friend, you, like Bugs Bunny said to Daffy Duck, took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. <laughs> but 
as Robert Plant assured us in uh, Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven, there's always time to take another path. So, do a reality check with the path you're on. If the path you're on isn't transforming you into a radiant being, not someday, but now, it's time to make some adjustments. And so now, before I let you go, I'm honored, I'd be remiss if I didn't remind you to click the subscribe button over here and down below to click the like button as well as the share button. I look forward to working with you at my uh, during my next series of weekly webinars. Until next we speak, may you and yours be healthy and happy. Om tare tutare ture soha.